Well, Pokemon X and Y has been out for about seven months now, and since then, dozens of Let's Plays, Y5 Battles, and Fact videos have already been made about it. While this may not be the best time, I've always wanted to make a video like this, and now I finally have the means to do so. So without further ado, this was my experience with Pokemon X and Y before the game came out. It was January of 2013 that the announcement trailer was first released, and man, were people pumped. I mean, it was the sixth generation of Pokemon. Also, the fact that this was the first time that the games were going to be released on the same day worldwide. Usually it was Japan, then everywhere else in the world. And you'd usually have to wait about a year to get it. So this was a pretty big game. Three new starters were introduced, Chespin, Fennekin, and Froakie. At least people assumed those were the starters, which is kind of an easy assumption to make. It's three elemental Pokemon and they're assumed to be first evolutions of so it's kind of easy to make. I myself was going to choose Froakie because well, water's my favorite type. Really had no other reason to. Anyway, after the announcement trailer was released, the internet was flooded with blogs, analyst videos, and reaction videos, usually with big name YouTubers such as the Jay Wits and Munching Orange, just to name a few. The same day, a Nintendo Direct came out, based entirely on Pokemon. Its topic? Talking about Pokemon from the beginning, back when Red and Green first released in Japan, and the modern day, with games like Black and White and Black and White 2. It was a nice nostalgia trip for older fans such as myself, and I think it was a good history lesson for the newer fans. The first news that started major controversy, though, was the introduction of Sylveon, which was without a doubt going to be the next evolution, but its typing? Unknown. I mean, electric had been done, water had been done, psychic had been done, ice had been done, grass had been done, dark had been done, and fire had been done. So, what was Sylveon? Shortly after Sylveon's unveiling, yet another Pokémon was released, this time branded a new Pokémon with an old look. This new Pokémon... well... what was it? Was it a new Mewtwo form? Was it Mew 3? Nobody knew. All we knew was that it... was... it just looked like Mewtwo. That's pretty much it. So, yeah, this got pretty much a big reaction, almost as much as the announcement of the trailer and Sylveon. The unveiling of these two new Pokémon would start the beginning of a bunch of unveilings that would leave audiences confused until the release of the game in October of 2013, which was about a year after its unveiling. The word unveiling was used three times in that last statement. <laughs> 